Okay, so today I'm having some camera troubles, but anyway, I'm going to repeat uh, what I've already filmed and somehow it uh, disappeared. Anyway, I have some black polymer clay. We're going to make, be making some heart pendants using the heart push mold. Okay, I'm using the biggest shape. And I have some gold leaf uh, that you can rub on uh, artworks. I got this at Michael's. So I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of this and put it on the clay. And then uh, it doesn't have to be neat, as you can see. And then I'm going to roll it through the pasta machine, which is off camera here. And when you come back, you'll see um, how it uh, separates it and it gives it a really pretty look for jewelry. So anyway, um, after I did that, I rolled it up and pushed it into the push mold. And, um, and now I've just removed the center piece by cutting it out with the craft knife and then pushing it in with the, um, the end of a paintbrush. So anyway, that's pretty much where I was when the camera went off. Uh, so now I have another piece of polymer clay. I only had pink and I wanted it to be a little bit more red. So what I did was I just added a little drop of red acrylic paint to it and it did seem to give it more of a reddish color. It's a little bit marbleized, which I kind of like because I'm going to be making a rose. So taking uh, that, I'm going to, that one has a little... Uh, gold on it. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze the top of one side and that's going to give it more of a petal look and just roll it up to be a, a rose, the start of a rose. There's plenty of videos on this. Um, lots of people have different ways of making roses. This is just my way of doing it. Okay, and just start with a tiny little insert because we want ours to be very small you know just enough to fill up this little um, hole here okay and so then what I'm going to do is divide this into like three so that I can make little rose petals I'm going to round them a little bit Just going to add them on here one at a time. Okay, and it's kind of loose right now, but that's okay because I'm going to be pushing it into this little hole and that's going to um, firm it up a little bit. Okay, so let me make sure the back isn't too big. I'm going to remove a little bit of the back here so that it's not as as deep. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right in here. Okay, and then just to break it up a little bit, I'm just going to put a couple of different uh, tiny little leaves coming off of the rose.
Okay, and then after I put the roses on there, I'm going to just put a little bit of detail into the leaves. Okay, and then it's just going to go into the oven to bake, and we're going to have a lovely little uh, heart pendant for Valentine's Day that's coming up next month. So I think what I'm going to do is just at the same time, before I put these into the oven, I'm going to roll up this clay that has the gold in it, and I'm going to make some matching beads. Okay. 